we're going to be talking about how you can increase your reading speed. Now, the IELTS reading test isn't easy. You've only got 60 minutes to answer 40 questions. And if you can read faster, it's obviously going to make this a lot easier. Now, everybody knows this. And so often the advice that students are given is that what you need to do to read faster is skim and scan. Now, skimming is part of the strategy that you'll use to answer the different question types, but in itself, it's not enough to get the correct answer. So we're not gonna focus on skimming today. What I'm going to show you is a strategy that you can use to increase your reading speed so that once you know sort of where the answer, the correct answer might or might not be in the text, you can read carefully to find that answer, but you can read a little bit faster. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a task that you can use to practice with. All right, so. How do you read faster and why should you not rely on skimming? Well, the research varies, but a lot of researchers believe that in order to actually skim a text, you need to know anywhere between 95 and 98% of the words in order to skim. And most students don't know that percentage of words in an IELTS test. I mean, think about it this way, right? The IELTS test is one test and it has to be hard enough to determine whether or not somebody is a band seven or a band eight or a band nine. So if you're a band eight, you'll get some questions wrong, but if you're a band nine, you won't. And the reason students get questions wrong on the reading test is usually because of vocabulary. So. If, if you're sort of at an intermediate or upper intermediate or even you know advanced C1 level of English, there will be words in the test, uh, in the reading test that you don't know. So the number one thing that you can do to improve your reading score is to increase your vocabulary. And we've got some great resources that Chris has put together on our YouTube page to help you improve your vocabulary. If you improve your vocabulary, it will make it a lot easier to skim, but skimming is still not enough to find the correct answer. What you need to do to find the correct answer is very close reading. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how you can get faster at this close reading. So again, how you get faster at skimming is improving your vocabulary. So here's how I know that you need to know a lot of words in order to be able to skim. This is a book that I read recently. It's called This Is Going To Hurt. It's written by a man called Adam Kay. He was a doctor in the hospitals here in, in the UK, in the NHS, and he wrote a memoir. Uh, it's quite funny. <laughs> a little bit sad, but, but also quite funny. And I read this book quite quickly. So, you know, there's about this many words on the page. I could probably, I was reading a page in less than a minute because I'm a pretty quick reader. But here's what I noticed about this book in particular. Um, I was reading, reading along, and then I'd get to a word like this one, which you probably can't see, but it's got a little asterisk by it, which means that he's had to explain it. Now, because he's talking about his job working as a doctor, there's a lot of medical terminology that I don't know. Now, a lot of our VIP students are medical professionals. They might know these words. I don't know these words. Some of you watching might be medical professionals and you might know these words as well, but I don't. So whenever I came to one of these words, it's like somebody had hit the brakes. I didn't know it. I didn't know how to sound it out. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I'd have to then go and read what it meant. And then I'd have to come back, remember sort of what he was talking about and then carry on reading. So this, every time I ran into a word that I didn't know like this, it really, really slowed me down. Now, if there, if this was full of words like that, there is no way I could skim this text because I, I just wouldn't know enough of the words. As it goes, I can skim it here and I can, you know, I can sort of run my eyes over the text and there's enough words that I recognize. I could tell you roughly what it's about, 
But then remember to get the right answer for the reading test, you need to do a close reading. Now, if I came to one of those words in, in the close reading, it would still slow me down. And I might get the answer wrong if I don't know the words. So again, improving your vocabulary is the most important thing that you can do to increase your reading score. But how can you just start to read faster? You know, how can you pick up a book like this and read a page in less than a minute and understand 99% of it when you know enough vocabulary? Well, here's, here's one idea, okay? So when you're reading, you know, to really understand, you should be reading at about 200 to 230 words a minute. Skimming, by the way, is about 700 words a minute. So a lot of, a lot of students and a lot of people in general, they, they read like this. They put their finger under the word and they move their finger along word by word and they don't say the words out loud, but they say them silently in their head. This process is called subvocalization, and basically what it does is it limits your reading speed to the speed that you would read if you were reading out loud. Now you can try this in your first language, and I bet that if you read out loud, you read a lot slower than if you read silently. Uh, so here's one way that you can sort of break the habit of subvocalization. So. People will, will read, so they'll often, you know, get a piece of paper or something and they'll put it under, or, or their finger or something, they'll put it under the line. So they'll start with here and they'll be like, okay, Sunday, 17 October 2004, and then they'll move it down and it'll be, to give myself a bit of credit, I didn't panic when the patient I was reviewing on the ward unexpectedly started hosing enormous quantities of blood. Oh, yeah, you have to have a, a strong stomach <laughs> to read this book. See, that's quite slow though, isn't it? And if you read this slowly, it's gonna make it hard to answer all the questions on the IELTS reading test. So here's what you can do. Take your same piece of paper, but don't put it under the words like this. Put it over the words so it comes down and it covers them. So I'm still doing, my eyes are still going along the, you know, the, the lines like this, but what I'm doing by moving this card down over the lines, and I can choose the speed, right? I could do it really quickly or I could do it a little bit slower, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to force my eyes to move faster than my mouth would be able to actually say the words. So what I'm training my brain is to recognize the words and to understand the words without actually hearing the words in my head. And if you can do that, you are really, really going to increase your reading speed. Of course, if I was doing this myself and I was, you know, I was moving the, the piece of paper down over top of the words and I got to a word that I didn't know and I kept going, what I would do is I would make some guess about what it was. Okay, this is some kind of emergency, this is some kind of medicine, this is some kind of disease, right? That's because I know the context, it's probably one of these things and then I would keep going. Now, the more words I run into that I don't know, of course, the, the harder this is, but I can still work on increasing my reading speed that way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a text. Um, it's about 350 words long, and I'm going to show it to you at 200 words a minute. So remember I said, if you are reading for comprehension, Right? Most people read at between 200 and 230 words a minute for comprehension. This is the close reading where you understand everything you're reading so that you could then answer one of the IELTS reading questions. So what I want you to do is I want you just to try it. Okay, so I'm going to put it up on the screen and I want you, it's going to, the words are going to flash like one by one. Uh, it's using a program called Speed Reader. You, there's a free app and then there's also a paid version. So we're going to use the free, the free app. So I'm going to sh show you the text and then at the end, 
what I would like you to do down below in the comments is I'd like you to tell me, you know, what would be a good title <laughs> for this article. It comes from a newspaper and it comes from the lifestyle section. So it's not a, an academic or medical uh, topic. So, a, you know, a, a title of an article gives the reader some idea what it's about. It doesn't have to be witty or clever, but just generally, what, what is it about? If you can make a, a title, that means you've understood enough of, of the article. So let's, let's try it. All right, everyone, here we go. Let's begin. All right, that was it. Post your answers down below. Compare with what other students have written. If you've kind of got, you know, more or less the same kind of information, then, then that's great. So with this app, you can copy and paste any text from the internet. And you can also vary the speed. So you can slow it down a little bit if you need, or you can speed it up a bit if you want to give yourself a challenge. So you've got this tool online to use. You've also got the technique that I showed you about moving a piece of paper and down and covering the words as you go. Ideally, to do this practice, you would find uh, a, a text or a book where you knew almost all of the words. Like if there is maybe one or two new words on the page that you don't know, that's an ideal level. So graded readers are great for this if you have access to them or, or even just something, you know, that that's easy. So something that maybe, you know, you've read before or something with a vocabulary that you're familiar with, because then you can just focus on the speed and you're not getting too tied up in, in too many new words. So if you found this useful and you would like more uh, advice on how you can improve your IELTS score,